Google has finally ported Chrome to Android, but it comes with a doozy of a hang-up. Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt, and in this first look, we're going to give the once-over to the first beta of Chrome for Android. So first off, the bad news is, is that it only works on ice cream sandwich. You're going to have to wait until your device gets upgraded or you go out and buy a new device. Currently, that means only about 1% of devices out there are ice cream sandwich enabled, so it's really Chrome for Android for early adopters. Beyond that, for a beta, this is actually a very tight browser. It syncs your personal data, such as bookmarks, history, and open tabs, to your mobile Chrome for Android. It has incognito, which is great for having the browser not remember what you're doing. And it's actually very fast. It's got flick to scroll and pinch to zoom, which work very quickly. And even at loading sites, it's very quick. And it's got super fast site pre-rendering, which means that as you're typing in a site into the location bar, it will pre-cache the site so that it loads into the cache before you even choose it. Then when you choose it, the page is already there. Google likes to call it magic. Other nifty features include link bubble previews to help you choose the correct link when you've got a pile of links very close together, and swiping from the edge to change tabs. For now, Google says it's going to maintain Chrome for Android separately from the default browser, but don't be surprised if that changes sooner rather than later. Chrome for Android is quite fast, and its ease of use really mimics what you experience on the desktop browser. So now all Google has to do is get more people using Ice Cream Sandwich. Good luck with that. For CNET, I'm Seth Rosenblatt.